Hello everyone, this is my balloon guppy fish tub. It contains both male and female guppies. So they already breed here. And you can see there are also juvenile and baby balloon guppies inside this tub. Today I decided to check all of them. So we're going to use a tub and a fish net. Before checking my guppies, I noticed a moringa twig inside the tub. So I decided to take it out. It's time to catch them and I'm gonna use my observation hockey to catch all of them. After catching, I transfer them to the viewing tank so we can check them on the sides properly. I decided to bring them indoor because it's very hot outside and I also install lighting for better viewing. Here I can see some very cute male tuxedo balloon koi guppy. It has black body which is also known as tuxedo, red caudal tail, red dorsal fin and red head as well. This is one of the cutest female I've seen so far. It has round shape and short body size. Since I only have one balloon koi guppy line and I have been breeding them for quite some time, there are guppies that I no longer considered as short body. For example, this guppy right here has long body and the one at the back. Although it's blurry but I can tell it's not short body anymore. On top view, it's easy to tell the difference between normal and short body. This one is short body female and the other one is normal body female. By the way, this is one of the oldest male balloon koi guppy here and he is very stunning. To maintain my balloon guppy line, I decided to separate all the normal guppy and instead of disposing them, I decided to feed it to my guppy eating tilapia. Sometimes my tilapia likes playing tag of war with the guppies. Anyway, I decided to set up another outdoor breeding tub for my balloon guppies. I use tap water to fill up the tub. This is one of the old tub I used before and you can see a lot of mineral buildups around the tub. And I'm reusing it for breeding my guppies. I make sure to remove fallen moringa leaves on top surface. Rock salt is very important in conditioning the tub. It normalizes everything inside the tub and promote good bacteria. It's been 3 weeks since we set up this tub for breeding and the other tub seems to develop lots of algae covering the plants and they grow on sides as well. Meanwhile, I see a lot of mosquito larvae living inside this tub and it's good thing. Mosquito won't lay eggs on unsafe water condition. So once you see mosquito larvae, then it's a good sign that the water is now safe. While checking, I noticed that the tub is not properly level. So I decided to place some object to lift the other side of the tub to make it balance. Aquatic plant is very good for breeding guppies. So I decided to get some few plants from the other tubs and place it to the breeding tub. Today I'm gonna pick some balloon koi guppy breeding pair in this tub. I noticed some dead moringa leaves on top so I decided to take them out. I prepare my viewing tank and before I use it, I make sure to apply a non-greasy solution inside and outside to disinfect the tank. You can also use dishwashing liquid solution to disinfect the tank and make sure to wash it and rinse it thoroughly. It's very important to wash your viewing tank always after using it from another tank to prevent spreading of disease. It is still early in the morning. My balloon guppies are already hungry. So I decided to feed them with guppy pellets. While feeding, I noticed three light colored guppies. I decided to catch them right away. And to my surprise, these are blondy or light version of my tuxedo balloon koi guppies. I place all three of them inside a viewing tank so I can check them properly. I have never seen light colored guppies in this tub three weeks ago, but one guppy caught my attention. This guppy is very different. It still has short body, it has lighter body compared to other males in this tub, and the scales that runs from the dorsal to caudal is bluish in color. And I'm excited to breed this guppy. On the other hand, one of the light colored guppy is no longer short body. So unfortunately, I will dispose it and feed it to my tilapia. I have decided to select this male for breeding, so I will temporarily place him in this tub while I'll choose another male and females. 
By the way, I caught all the adult male guppies inside the tub. And you can see that these guppies are very cute and stunning. But I decided to use young males for breeding because they are sexually more active than adult males. And they also produce more male baby guppies. So I will place all adult males back to the tub. After releasing the adult males, I decided to catch the young males in this tub. There are only few of them so it won't be very hard for me to select one for breeding. These males are very tiny and cute but I spotted one beautiful male for breeding. This male has really short body. The gonopodium is almost touching his caudal which is perfect. And what's important for me is its very short body. Now I have selected two males for breeding, Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather. The sun is already out and the sun rays already hit some of our tub. It's time to catch all females for selection and you can see that it's very hot already. These are my female balloon koi guppies. Most of them have tuxedo pattern in their body, which means half of their body is darker. I also noticed that most of them doesn't have red head anymore, except for this female. After selecting female breeders, I decided to place the remaining females back to the tub. Since most of my stock females have darker body coloration, I decided to choose three non-tuxedo females for breeding. So these are the balloon koi guppies that I selected for breeding. Two handsome males and three beautiful females. Before releasing, I make sure to acclimate the guppies for safety. While acclimating, I decided to feed all my fish. This is the pellets I feed for my glodanus, mollies, betta fish, angelfish, and swordtails. And this one is for my guppies. You can also see here that I'm giving a treatment of a female fulgold guppy that has dropsy using the technique I used in my previous video. And hopefully, I will be able to save this guppy. Now let's feed my fish starting with my always hungry glow danius. My betta fish. My angel fish and my sword tails. After feeding my fish indoor, I will feed all my fish outdoors starting with my stunning full gold guppies. My purple mosaic guppies. My Dumbo Air Red Tail Breeders. I noticed that the plants of my Yellow Tiger Mosaic Guppy tub are floating. So I decided to push the plants to the bottom to fix it and feed them. Since my brine shrimps are still not hatching, I decided to feed my baby guppies with pellets. But I make sure to squeeze the pellets to tiny pieces so baby guppies can eat it. After feeding, it's safe to release the balloon guppies to the breeding tub. Not so long, they started eating all the mosquito larvae inside the tub. Mosquito larvae are very good substitute live food for guppies. So make sure to feed those mosquito larvae you see in your backyard to your guppies or else they will be the one to bite you and feed on your blood when they become adult mosquito. So that's all for today. I hope you like this video and thanks for watching.